Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go over George's monthly budget spreadsheet. Currently I'm in the January worksheet. At the bottom here there's tabs and there's one for each month of the year. I'm going to go back to the January tab and here's where you enter the year that you're budgeting for. And you're not limited to the current year. You could use any year that you like. I'm going to change that back to January 2017. Up top here is where your totals are. Below that is the income section where you enter your income categories. And below that is the expenses section where you enter your expense categories. If I scroll down to enter more expenses, you can see here that the total rows are fixed so that you can always see them. I'm going to scroll back up top and I've already entered some sample categories for this demonstration but you're going to go ahead and enter your own categories based on your budget. In the upper right hand section here is a bar chart and that basically displays total income versus total expenses for actual amounts. It's these amounts right here and that allows you to visually see how you're doing in terms of your total income and expenses for actual amounts. Below that are the subtotals and the subtotal section is not, you're not required to use that, but if you do want to group your categories into different groupings that you want to subtotal, this is where you would do that. Let's go over here to the income section. Let's go ahead and add another category. Let's say that I had tips and I budgeted 400 for that, but I actually only received 200 in tips. So that these columns here are automatically calculated. The difference amount, which is the difference between these two. You also have the percent of budget columns. In this case, this particular one is 50%. And that's because the actual amount of 200 is 50% of 400. And this chart here reflects that 50% amount. Down here, let's look at the expense categories. I'm going to choose to group these items, the expenses. I'm not going to subtotal my income items because there's only a couple here, but I will subtotal my expense items. So the way you do that is you're going to use this column over here, this group column, to group them. And it helps to name them. Um, as you can see, what I've done is I've named them, for example, this particular group here, this auto group. I put the word auto in front of all the different categories. Same thing for food. I put them the word food in front of all the categories. Same thing for healthcare and same thing for home. So that allows you to kind of see which items go together. And if you do choose to group them, two things. You have to, for example, with the expenses, you have to group all the groupings and you have to keep the groups together, as you can see that I've done. They need to be next to each other. So let's say that we want to group this auto categories. So you start from the top, go down to the last auto category, just go across here and put subtotal. And what that does is I'm going to highlight all those auto categories. That $850 in this actual column is the total of these items here. The 650 here is the total of these budgeted items in the auto group. And that's the difference between these two. In this case, you were over budget. So let's go down to the next one. We did auto. So let's go down to grouping food. You just go down to the last item in the food category and just put subtotal over here. Healthcare, let's group those. Just go to the last item in the healthcare group and put subtotal there. And same thing for home, go to the last item in the home group and put subtotal there. Let's say that I wanted to add an item to the home grouping. So you just put the item next, make sure that it's next to them. And I'm just going to say 150, 150. Now this item here has to be changed because it's no longer the last item in that group. So I'm going to delete that one. Go back over here, go to the bottom 
last item in that group, which is this one, and just put subtotal here. So as you can see, it's very simple to group your items. Also, you have this shading here, this darker purple and lighter purple, darker and lighter. That also shows you which items are grouped. So, for example, this shading right here, the darker purple, is your food group, these four food group, group items. And as you can see, in food, you spent a total of 458 among all your different food categories. The other row that I, a column that I want to talk about are these indicator lights. So let's look at this example for auto gasoline. You budgeted $200 for the month, but you spent $250. So you were over budget by $50, and this red indicator light shows you that. So you can scan these expensive expense items and see which items are in red and you know that those were over budget. So it allows you to easily scan items um, without having to look over the specific amounts. You can also do that same thing with the bar charts here. You could see here, for example, this item, let's look at that one, which is restaurants and dining. You budgeted 50, you spent 30, so you were under budget by $20, which is, in this case, it's good if you're under budget. So you can see there that you spent 60% of your budget, and that's also indicated by the bar chart. So up top here, the totals here, including the chart, those items are automatically calculated for you. So that's a brief overview of George's monthly budget spreadsheet.